Welcome to On the Edge with J.P. Divine from Central Maine Sunday. On the Edge with J.P. Divine Audio is sponsored by Sprague & Curtis Real Estate, the largest full-service real estate brokerage in Central Maine's capital region. Selling properties, helping people, getting it done. Visit their website at SpragueAndCurtis.com. Now here's J.P. Divine. May 28. People watching on this bright and warm Sunday at Panera Cafe in the marketplace in Augusta. Sun-soaking people are sitting at the outside tables where there, there are trees about that we pretend are chestnuts in a cement space with pots full of flowers, allowing us to imagine we are at the Dumego in Paris. Such fantasies are those of the aged, don't you think? This one is ours. She and I both like the food, the atmosphere, and the large windows facing the parking lot. We like that Panera's keen at treating us like relatives, unlike similar eateries, and as I say, the, the people watching. She and I chew and chat, giggle at a couple here and there, and create um, backgrounds for each passersby, guessing at their occupations. This morning, young Panera cleaning associates bustle about, wiping tables, picking up bits of food, occasionally helping customers with their empty dishes. Then, one young employee with dandelion-colored hair and bright Facebook logo blue eyes, shaded by the brim of her company ball cap, catches our eyes as she weaves through the tables with cloth in hand and green apron slightly askew. Who is she? Sometimes she disappears and then returns with a broom, a long-handled dustpan. She's very tall, this one, very young and focused, as she glides through the big room like a, like a swatch of fog. I catch her occasionally glancing longingly out the window at the loveliest of the day. She must be thinking, ah, I'd like to sit out there in the sun and the warm breeze, munching on a tuna with rye with tomato and pickle <laughs> and think about my life. But she can't. She probably has to work to save money for a car or college. She pauses near our table to wipe another down. Her name badge says Zoe. Oh, I love names like that. Zoe, Zeus, Chloe, Aurora. She, always the monthly and once forever teacher, asks her, Zoe, where do you go to school? Gardener, I think she replies. A senior getting ready to graduate. She wants to go to nursing school and has been accepted into a nursing assistant program. That's wonderful. I love nurses. God, special children. Zoe wanted to be a dancer, but she broke a bone in her foot and had to put that dream in God's pocket and now works in becoming a nurse. I ask strangers too many questions. I'm like a reporter or a cop. I, I tell her I write for a newspaper and ask another. Does everyone interrogate you like we do, like a cop or a reporter? No, she shakes her head and smiles. A sad smile. I'm thinking that cleanup associates don't get a chance to chat as waitresses who work for tips do. Under a manager's eye, see, they have to keep busy wiping, sweeping, emptying the trash. You never see cleaning associates a pause to talk on their cells. Never. Well, that would probably be cause for instant dismissal, and that would be bad. See, this is a perfect gig for students. Cleaning's all about repetition, allowing time to think about exam questions, the upcoming prom, maybe, or just wondering if nursing is really what it looks like on Gray's Anatomy. Mostly, they just pass through the aisles, past the booths and the tables, popping up and then vanishing like, like friendly ghosts, moving past diners like fresh breezes. Now, I've taken to watching the other cleaner-uppers, and I've noticed that almost no one talks to them. I mean, what do you say to a ghost? I suspect it's a summer weekend job for students, and, and well, maybe they move up to the cash register positions where, depending on the actors involved, warm banter is allowed, but the basic script is simple 
and it's regulated. Chips, apple, or baguette? Try saying that fast. A mm, hundred times a day. Zoe floats by, pauses, perhaps sensing someone who cares. She, who always blended teacher and mother well, continues. Where did you go to school? Are you going to college? What are you going to study there? So he disappears. I, I hope we see her again. Maybe one dark night years from now as I lay in my final hospital bed, a new nurse will answer my call for water. And this tall girl with dandelion yellow hair and grass green scrubs will slide in from the hall to my bedside and prop up my pillow. Will I remember her moves? Her voice. Is that you, Zoe? Thanks for listening to On the Edge with J.P. Devine from Central Maine Sunday. On the Edge with J.P. Devine is sponsored by Sprague and Curtis Real Estate, the largest full-service real estate brokerage in Central Maine's capital region. Selling properties, helping people, getting it done. Visit their website at SpragueandCurtis.com. Make sure you pick up Central Maine Sunday this week wherever newspapers are sold and visit our website at CentralMaine.com. 